Hey folks, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new job in Jenkins. To do so, we need to go to new item. Then you will see the, the type of the job you require. In this case, we have freestyle project, pipeline, multi-configuration project, folder and another kind of, of jobs. Uh, I'm going to explain those later in a future videos. Uh, as of now, we are going to use Freestyle Project. This is a very basic job configuration which allows to run several stuff uh, automatically. Uh, it can be scheduled, it can be configured to extract code from repository source such as github or bitbucket or another repository source pipelines pipelines are also automated jobs which which uses a jenkins file this file is a configuration file um, coded in groovy and also it, it can be coded in a different language which is a jenkins proprietary language but as i mentioned in this case we are going to use freestyle so oh yeah but uh, i like to organize my jobs in folders to have a clean environment so i'm going to start creating a folder called my my job okay i'm going to click ok this is the configuration page for this folder i'm going to just save it with no changes i'm inside of the my folder so i'm going to segregate more i'm just click on new item i'm going to select another folder and specify let's say dev for development environment okay i'm going to click ok i'm going to save it i'm going to change the path to my job as well i'm going to click on new item and i'm going to create a folder for production selecting folder as a type okay okay i'm going to save it and i'm going going back to my job as you can see we have the other two folders dev and prod so i'm going to select dev and finally i'm going to create my new job i'm going to click on new item i'm going to select a name my first job I'm going to select freestyle sub so project type I'm going to click ok and i'm going to be redirected to the configuration page for that job okay here we have a lot of of options to select or to, config, to configure the job itself i'm going to explain a bit more in in future videos but for now uh, let me explain about this discard all builds i'm going to select it this option allows jenkins to delete or to save the number of builds that the user wants in this case i'm going to tell it to save only 15 builds and discard the rest this will allow to save space in my hard drive and, and keep it clean the the job history okay project parameter uh, project parameterist is very important uh, and very useful itself but i'm going to explain later oh this part source code management um when we install jenkins some plugins that are that were marked as default were installed and one of them is was git git plugin as well as subversion those are repository sources 
So if you have a let's say a Java code, uh, Spring Boot, or Node.js, Python, or any any source, even Bash, if you have this uh, source code in any repository, you can retrieve it from that repository and use it in Jenkins to build your artifact or you be, to build your application to execute those scripts. In this case, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to select none because I don't have any source code to execute from any external repository. It will be a simple, a simple print line, a simple echo to to show how to build your first job. So, okay. Now well, this part, build periodically. This is very useful for automation because uh, you can let's say you will create a job to query a database create a report and send it uh, by email to a distribution list or a personal email it doesn't matter so you you want to to schedule that job to run every wednesday at 9 p.m for every week so you can do it by selecting this this option build periodically um, because uh, jenkins accepts cron cron syntax for for scheduling for those people that already use cron you will be familiar with this syntax uh, for for those people that doesn't i will explain how to to configure or how to to specify cron syntax and it will be very simple and very useful you'll see in this case i don't want to repeat this job so i'm going to uncheck this going to scroll down directly to the build section which is the one that we we care about at this moment i'm going to expand the drop down and select execute shell okay i'm going to Okay, the plan is to print this string, execute my first Jenkins job, and that's it. So I'm going to save all my changes. And we were, we were redirected to the main, main page for my first job. Sorry, there is a typo here. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to select build now. After we click build now, we can see the output here, build history. At the moment, we only have one build run uh, labeled with uh, number one. And there is there are two ways to get inside of the details. One is clicking directly on the number and another is to expand it by the by the arrow. I'm going to start with the arrow, so I'm going to select console output, and we are going, we were redirected to the actual output of the job. The first line is the Jenkins is showing who ran this job. In this case, it was me, Hugo Telles, and it was run by the system by the system user because it can specify that um, we want to execute by root or by any service account or any other user we can do that okay it's specifying the workspace for my job this is a very useful uh, path in case you want to to go and see what is building at the moment you can go directly to this path by using the terminal and see if the files there see uh, maybe if you are printing any log inside your application besides the jenkins log you you can see that di directly okay as you remember in the configuration page 
when we select execute shell uh, we specify the command echo and the string that we are going to print okay all the the commands that we specified it in that field in that window are wrapped and included to a to a shell script managed by Jenkins Jenkins gave it the, the name this is a random name that Jenkins knows about so Jenkins can execute from it from that from that script uh, the output is also showing what is what command is being executed in this case is only this and also the output of that command which is the the string that here in between quotes and finally we have the the status of the job in this case it was success okay i'm going to go back to the job itself i'm going to run it again so we, we can see the second the second build here labeled it with a two and uh, i'm going to click in the number itself instead of the arrow we can see all the the options we have here for the job we have the console output which is the the one that we 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 want to see the output at the moment so i'm going to click it and we can see the same as we saw before okay that's it from this video i hope you enjoy it and please subscribe if you want to to learn and see more about Jenkins, DevOps, continuous integration, and also feel free to suggest more topics in the in the comments at the video. Thanks.